Hi everyone, welcome back to Diabetic Savvy. We have got a fantastic recipe for you today. It's one of my weekend breakfast go-to favorites. We're talking about German oven baked pancakes, better known as Dutch babies or Bismarcks. So stay with us. If you've ever ordered a Dutch baby pancake at a restaurant, there's something just absolutely amazing and awe-inspiring when this jumbo oven puff pancake with its high baked walls and whatever toppings you have in the middle comes to the table and it just sets the tone for an amazing meal and an amazing experience. So I'm really excited today to bring you a diabetic version of this fantastic pancake that's super easy all you have to do is make a couple of substitutions and keep a couple of different things in mind in order for this to be a foolproof, amazing breakfast. Before we jump into the recipe, let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, your temperature. It's really important that your temperature in your oven be set and be stable for a period of time. We're gonna be preheating our oven today to 400 degrees and it's been at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is your pan size. Dutch babies won't work if your pan size is not right. If too much batter in too small of a pan, and you won't get the proper rise. Too little batter in too large of a pan, you won't have enough batter to create those really nice walls that we're looking for in a classic Dutch baby. Today's recipe has been designed for an eight inch oven proof pan. The next thing that you wanna do is get this pan really hot. You wanna heat this up for at least 10 minutes in the oven. And while your pan is preheating in the oven, you can get started on the batter. There's a couple things that you have to keep in mind in order to make this a foolproof recipe. We're first gonna start off with two eggs. With regards to the eggs, it's really important that your eggs be room temperature. And if you don't feel comfortable leaving them out on the counter overnight, what you can do is warm them up with hot tap water for about three to four minutes to make sure they come up to temperature so that they're not cold. Now, if your eggs are already room temperature, we can go ahead and start incorporating all the ingredients. To mix this today, we're gonna to be using a high-rimmed mixing glass today. I like this because I'm gonna be using an immersion blender. One of the ways to foolproof your Dutch baby's success is to think about it more like a popover rather than a pancake. And the way that you do that is with really high heat, which is why we have the pan preheating, but also you wanna incorporate as much air into the batter as possible. So it's really important you use one of three tools, either a food processor, a blender, or in my particular case, I have here a stick blender with a whisk attachment on it. So let's start by adding our two room temperature eggs. Next, we'll add 3 eighths of a cup of carbolous flour, 3 eighths of a cup of whole milk. Like your eggs, it's really important that it be room temperature. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar substitute. We're using Splenda today. We also want a little bit extra for garnish a little bit later. I'll explain that in a minute. And then half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. And with all your ingredients now added into your container, we come to another really important point. Because we want to whip so much air in order to create the steam that we need to puff up this pancake, it's really important that you whip this at high speed for at least 30 seconds. After you've been blending for 30 seconds, you should have a lot of bubbles rising to the surface of your batter. That's exactly what you want. That lets you know that you have as much air built into the batter as possible. Now you can set it aside and let it rest for 15 minutes. So now with our batter fully rested, we're gonna take two tablespoons of our butter and we're gonna put it into our hot pan in the oven so that it melts into that pan. Now with our butter fully melted, we're gonna pour our batter into our pan and we're gonna bake this at, again, the 400 degree mark untouched, undisturbed, don't open the oven door for 18 minutes. The wonderful thing about Dutch babies is they can be both savory and sweet. Now, we've made ours sweet today, which is why we added our sugar substitute as well as our vanilla bean paste. If you decide to make this savory, you'd obviously wanna leave those out and add just a touch of salt to enhance that natural flavor. We're gonna be making ours very classic today, which is a little bit of lemon juice, and in place of our powdered sugar, we're gonna be using a little bit of Splenda since it replicates that texture pretty closely. That looks amazing, and I can't tell you how excited I am. You wanna serve this immediately. So with our lemon wedges cut and our powdered sugar substitute ready to go, we can go ahead and plate it. This looks amazing with its really nice high walls, a little bit of butter on top of the pancake. This is gonna be perfect. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I cannot wait. Really nice and fluffy interior. Nice color on the bottom. It looks really good. Mm. 
I'm a huge Dutch Baby fan, but there is nothing better than lemon and a powdered sugar substitute on, on Dutch Babies. It's just, I mean, it's just, it doesn't get any better than this. I am challenging all of you to try this. You are going to be so happy that you have a diabetic friendly version of this to make on the weekends or any day for that matter. In the description, if you're watching on a computer where it says show more, you will see not only the full recipe, but also some recommendations for both sweet and savory toppings that you can use with this German oven baked pancake. You will be thrilled. So as is traditional, we will have the full recipe at the end of the video, as well as in the show description below. And also at the end of the video, we'll have the nutritional comparisons as well as the impact to my blood sugar. Just a reminder, when I film videos, all I eat is what we film. So you get a true sense of what the individual menu item has as far as an impact on my blood sugar during the day. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We had a great time making it. We're so thrilled and we think this will be a great addition to your breakfast repertoire. If you like what we're doing, please hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you would like to be notified of when new content is being uploaded to the channel and share our videos. We would love to grow the community and we're having a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Be healthy, be safe, and we'll see you in a few days with a new recipe adaptation or food review. And until then, be carb deliberate, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon.